We are in Seoul, and one of the things the locals enjoy is exploring cafes. So today we are exploring some of the popular, the unique, the quirky, and must visit option here in Seoul. Okay, we are now in front of Cafe Bora, which is very famous with their soft ice cream, especially the purple sweet potato. And it looks good for your Insta as well. So this is the purple sweet potato ice cream. Oh my gosh, it start melting so I'm gonna try as soon as possible Look at the texture, it's so smooth, that's why it's called soft ice cream Mmm. Wow, you can really taste the sweet potato really prominent on this ice cream And it's not icy at all which I like So it is creamy, it's soft it just melts in your mouth This cafe can be kind of hidden because you have to enter through an alleyway from the main street but once you get inside, it's a very small but a very comfy cafe about 10-seater, really really nice ambience they only serve pretty much the soft serve ice cream and different kind of types as well and some drinks as well not very many selections of menu but really really good for Instagram quite nicely decorated, very simple we've got some flower there for decoration but we've got the sweet potato here Mm. Wow, that's actually quite strong. It's like a very, very strong sweet potato flavor on it, but also very refreshing, very nice. Usually with ice cream, it can be kind of strong. So after a few bites, you feel like, mm, I've had enough, and you pretty much don't really finish the whole ice cream. But this one is actually quite light. It's really, really, really lovely. And you can keep, kind of keep going because the flavor is not too intense. It's actually really nice and really light. All right, so it is late in the afternoon and we as an Australian, we need a little bit of a coffee hit, right, to wake us up. So this next place that we're gonna go to, the barista, wow, he does really amazing, stunning 3D art latte. So we are gonna head down there and we're gonna check it out. And it's some similar to the cafe that we've been in in Japan, Tokyo called Reissue. So he does the same thing, but from the Instagram, man, this guy looks amazing. He might have been the best barista we were gonna see so far. Wow, but all these areas are like sort of near each high one, so it's near the expat area. And when the sun sets, this area is just gonna come alive, so. But for now, we need a cup of coffee first. So I got the shot chino, which is really, really cool. And then I don't know how to drink this, but apparently you just need to drink it. No mixing, nothing. Okay, cheers, guys. Wow. So first sip, you basically got the bitterness from the coffee powder on top as well as I think the dark chocolate on top as well. It's really good and then they use the whipped cream, oh my goodness. And I think inside it's like butterscotch uh, flavor kind of coffee. So overall it's actually very nice, it's actually cold drink. It looks like, oh a shot chino, is that like hot drink? No, but it's actually cold drink. It's really good. I wish it's actually bigger than this one. It's quite small, but it's really enjoyable drink though to have. It's delicious. Mm. All right, so with this cute little bear, we have the ice latte with the chocolate cream on top. Mm. We actually want to have the Van Gogh one, you know, the picture here, but it costs 30,000 Korean won, so I'm like, no thank you. <laughs> Only this one, which is I think 8,000. Okay, I feel so bad to destroy this, but you need to try the taste, right? Okay. 
Maybe start from the love. Mm. So this one tastes like mocha for me because there's coffee, there's milk and also chocolate as well. So obviously it's the chocolate cream and it's quite strong though. But again, I feel bad. Hmm. Do you guys think the alpha looks good? So we are still in Itaewon area and we are going to the next cafe. This cafe looks like a warehouse which very interesting. Oh my god, we are crossing the road. <laughs> Oops. So while it's raining like this, it's best to just go to cafes because what else can you do either other than eating and drinking coffee, right? So this cafe, it looks super cool. It's like a huge industrial warehouse and um, I am so keen with the coffee. So we're gonna go and check it out. So we are currently in this roastery place called Anthracite. Apparently they make a really good coffee but the place looks kind of a bit like a kind of rundown warehouse so it's very very interesting. We just ordered some coffee. I think Helmi's got some latte or cappuccino. I've got some drip coffee which is pretty much espresso or long black, americano however you want to call it but uh, yeah another coffee hit. Why not? We got the Timana Colombia beans here, so let's try this. Usually, uh, with the drip coffee, it can be kind of acidic, depending on which beans you use. This one, Colombian bean, is kind of nice. It's kind of like almost like a little bit tropical, really, really nice. So uh, it doesn't have that fruity taste, but more of like a toffee taste. Acidity-wise, not too acidic. It's actually quite a smooth blend, which is really nice and clean as well. Love this. So I ordered cappuccino and they used, they call it William Blake, which is combination of three countries beans. I think Kenya, Guatemala, and I forgot the other one, but they actually roast their beans themselves. Wow, which is excellent. And this one have kind of, um, you know, like fruity flavor and the aftertaste is actually stronger than Nick one and it stays longer. So I like it. It's quite strong though. So our next cafe is a little tricky. It is actually down at like B1 off the main road. So it's kind of difficult to find and it's almost like a labyrinth of like shops inside here. But apparently this cafe has sheep. So we've been cafe hopping all day long and we are right now here in Hongdae, not far from Hongik University Station. You're gonna walk to this particular cafe here down the bottom here called Tanks Nature. Very simple, nice, really nice kind of ambience, atmosphere. And everything's kind of like teamed with sheep, you know, like a lot of the decoration inside the cafes. But the star of the show is just outside of the cafe. It's a little barn there and this two of them just running around, eating, and just chilling right there. And you can hear them every now and then. Bah. There we go, did you hear that? Hello there. Hello, Nan. So what's your name? I'm gonna call you Peter. Yeah? I'm waiting for it to go bah again right now. <laughs> I think I can like pat them too. <laughs> so fluffy, look at this. Oh my god, so fluffy. Really just chilled. Oh my god, so fluffy. That's what I said, right? So fluffy. So fluffy. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. Yeah, you can go in, just go in. They're not gonna like. Apparently not. Oh. No care given. 
See? No care given. You just have to be a little bit careful. There's a bunch of like... Yeah, landmines. A lot of landmines, so be careful. You know, it's actually not as smelly as I thought to be. So I think it's pretty good. You just have to be careful with the landmines. Yeah, because we just saw one drop just now. Yeah, it's like, like while walking and then... <laughs> <laughs> I think there's the people here in the cafe, they really take care of the pan, right? Yeah. Really, really well kept and they're fed really well and... It's actually not smelly at all. Oh, so cute! Surprisingly... Ah. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, my heart almost stopped. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we have to say goodbye to Tom and Jerry. Goodbye. See you next time! Alright, so the next cafe I'm very excited to show you guys It's called Cafe Onion Which located in Anguk Station, very close to the palace And if you see the interior design, oh my gosh It looks like a palace But then, you are drinking coffee with some bakery Alright, so I actually ordered, uh, I can't remember the name, but this is black sesame bread and the other one is chocolate scone mm -hmm. and mocha, the onion mocha Ooh. So it's like, what, 6 o'clock now and we are drinking coffee? It doesn't matter Wow, this is very soft, okay, let me open this baby up Come on, ooh, wow, wow Oh my god! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Seriously, I just want to get out as soon as possible. I haven't even tear it apart and you're already out. Okay, fine. Fine! There you go, wow. Mm. Wow, the bread is actually quite nice. So the black sesame is very prominent here because you have the black sesame in the outer layer and then you have also the black sesame cream inside and the bread is so thin so soft i love it this is so good and paired with this mocha excellent and this cafe is self-service so don't forget your rubbish and also you can self-serve your water We are currently on our final cafe stop. It is so hot, I have to change. <laughs> but this right behind me here, it looks like off a comic book, seriously. And one thing to note, this cafe closes at nine and last order is 8.30, so you wanna kinda come in early. Currently it's around 8.15 right now, so we just got here on time. The cafe looks amazing. I hope the food is as amazing as the way the cafe looks, so let's check it out. Okay, so when I see this cafe in Instagram, I'm like, yep, I'm gonna go there. This is like my bucket list, honestly, because the decoration for sure. So this cafe is actually inspired by one of the Korean drama called W. I think all the girls, no, maybe not all the girls, but I do watch it. So if you see the movie or the K-drama, you will find, oh my gosh, this looks like from the drama honestly so it's like 2d cafe this is just black and white everything is black and white from the chair from the table from the walls everything is like black and white only and unfortunately there's no food though so you know this is just for drinks but they actually have a very very cute mug look at this and this one here is actually the cup so when you open it it's like 
Oh, I ordered matcha latte by the way. Look at that. See, it looks super cute. Mm. Wow, it's quite nice. So, it got a very strong matcha uh, flavor. Reminds me of Japan, honestly. So, this is actually a really nice matcha latte. While Nick actually has this and he already drink it. What is this, Nick? It's like pomegranate something, I think. This is really good, really refreshing. And you got some, you know, like the fresh pomegranate over there. Like you can see the, there, see? It's really good. But it's only drinks though. So maybe eat somewhere first and then have a drink here and take lots of pictures. Lots, lots, lots of pictures. I hope you enjoyed today's episode guys. If you're coming on to Seoul for the very first time, I hope this episode gives you inspiration to try some of the unique cafes here in Seoul. If you're brand new as well, we do weekly food and travel adventures. So consider punching the like button, subscribing because it's free, and hit the bell notification so you get notified when we post our weekly food and travel adventure. So until next week, we will see you guys later. Ciao.